It's Valerie. Tonight we have a super cute hairdo for you guys to look at and try to do here at home. All right, so Sydney decided, this is her choice, she decided to call this the Beady Brady Do. So I thought that was a great name, so we went with it. All right, what we did is a variety of, of just normal braids. They're not even French braids. And then we did a couple of really cute strings of beads and we just tied them off with the ponytail in the back and kept these hanging down loose just because it's fun. All right, stay with us and we're gonna have a good old time. Hi nice girls, it. it's Valerie. All right, so today what we're gonna do is a really fun, kind of a funky ponytail pullback and I've already started it. So what I did is I, come up closer, I did a zigzag part on the left side and I pulled it over here into a side ponytail. Okay, I'm gonna take that out in a minute. And then I pulled the rest of it into just a normal back ponytail. Always use clear rubber bands whenever possible. That's my favorite anyways. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this piece out and I'm just going to do about eh, three or four braids, okay? So I'm just gonna quickly crank out these braids. I'm going to put them kind of, they're gonna be sporadic in this part of the hair. They're not even French braids. They're just going to be normal, old, three-stranded braids, and then we're gonna do some fun things with the remainder of the hair. All right, are you close up? All right, so. Sydney has um, nice, even lengths, so that makes it nice. If, if you have some layers, it might be nice to kind of keep the layers toward the front and then do the braids in the in in the the hair that has more of the same length. Okay, so once I get to about here, I'm going to tie it off. All right, so we'll probably just turn the camera off here and I'm going to just do a few more of these braids cuz I think you probably get the point. So, um, hi guys. I'll be right okay, back so what I just did is I just I didn't even really you know, worry too much about parting it. I just went ahead and made five braids here on the side of the head. So what I'm gonna do now for just a minute is I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna have you, would you just grab that? Yeah, there you go. Hold that back. And then we're gonna just take some tiny pieces of hair here. Like, not much, because if you take too much, it becomes a big problem. I'm gonna spray it till it's soaking wet until you get a nice pointy end, see like that? And then I'm just gonna start stringing some beads clear up to the top and if it gets wet if it gets dry then you end up having these um, you know the ends are not pointy and so it becomes a problem but super cute I'm just using a variety of colors again I got these um, beads just at the craft store so I'm gonna go ahead and just bead this with a you know just random random colors all the way down. Here I go. I'm going to just do the same thing. Nothing compli- oh, that haunted door. Just here for the Halloween festivities. Okay, so once again, I'm just going to take a small piece of hair, and then I'm just going to weave these cute little heart beads up it. I'm going to probably do about ten of them. I just want to get it to where it can connect with the ponytail. You gotta keep that, you gotta do your best to keep these ends nice and wet so they are, they give you kind of a nice straight edge. We have two cute little beaded dills. All right. 
this is extra. You never know exactly how much you're going to need. So this will be easily, I can, I'm just going to pull this back into the ponytail. No big deal. Actually what I can do, these fun hairdos are really all about just improvising. So I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm just going to braid this back just because that's kind of the trend here. Just put this in its own braid. Get it all back, ready to combine with your cute funky ponytail. I'm going to fold with these in a minute because we want to make sure those really show. So I'll go ahead and turn your head, turn your head all the way around this way. Okay. All right. So all we're going to do now is just. I'm going to need to pin that up. I, I'm going to tie this off because I really want to not. I want to work with the other braids. And if I work with the other braids, I'm going to have to let go of this. So. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Yep. All right, so just now we're going to go like so. And then I'm going to just grab this one and I want to just kind of weave it in to This one to me feels like it needs to be a little higher, so I'm going to go ahead and put this higher here. So I have one higher and one lower, like that. Like so. And then you just gather it in to the, the main ponytail. And then you can do a couple of different things. All right, so go ahead and show her what that looks like. It is super pretty. Okay, just kind of flatten, and it almost doesn't even actually need any help at this point. I kind of thought it might, but it doesn't. So, and then here, I personally would just leave these in. I love the lengths. I love the variation. It makes the ponytail look fun. If you if you like, you can always obviously pull those out. You can ring with the end or whatever. But for a fun school do, I think this is just absolutely beautiful. Okay, ladies, we'll have some more fun another time. And in the meantime, enjoy yourselves and enjoy doing some great hairdos. Have a good night. Bye.